<laughs> well, I guess that's it. We're not going anywhere. It's hard parked. Hmm. Uh, we can go somewhere, but I have nowhere to go because the track is closed. Hmm. Let's see what's happening at Apex then. Anyway, good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Nivercream, welcome back to Apex, welcome back to less snowy environment, luckily, than it was the last couple of weeks. Still pre freezing, a bit windy, I apologize for the wind. Uh, first news, the e-tron S is being picked up today, I had the car for two weeks, uh, was very enjoyable, was very good to have something else than the Golf. But my honest verdict, electric driving at this current range is not for me. I took the car to Munich uh, to shoot the What's Up Audi episode. Usually it takes me about five hours, four and a half hours with the Panamera Turbo S. We managed to do it in three hours, uh, although it was actually to Ingolstadt and not to Munich, so slightly more than that. With the e-tron, seven hours. On the way back, because I was exhausted and taking a nap during every charge, over nine hours. So, uh, comfort and everything is good, performance, I enjoyed it a lot as well, but the, the, yeah, the range is not for me. So we have to wait a couple of years until I would consider buying something like that for long distances. But then again, I only drive on the track or I drive really long distances. So that's why electric at this point is not really for me. Other than that, it's, it's supposed to stop freezing today. So as you can see, the snow is melting. This means that tomorrow we should be able to go on the track and film the construction works. So looking forward to that. And I mentioned that today's vlog, oh, come on. I really hate when I try to show you what time it is and then like my sleeve is over it. There we go. Just a mandatory flag that today's video was shot today and uploaded today. So let's hop in in Apex because uh, George is back after his almost a month holiday. So we should be getting like tech talk videos, not TikTok. You can subscribe to me on TikTok. I don't post much there, but um, maybe I will. Uh, but let's go do some tech talk, T-E-C-H. All right, first of all, hello, George. That's how excited he is to be back after his holiday. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do something. Cool, you do something, I will do something, namely uh, mail time. We have big mail time over there, those boxes. We're gonna go downstairs and take a look at them. But first, mail time, something that I have ordered and something that I have not ordered. Someone sent it to us, Robert Mission Apex Crew, so I guess I can open it up because my name is on it and otherwise I'm also part of the Apex Crew. So first of all, let's do this from Heel and Toe Block. Fancy. Sustainability is important nowadays. Yeah, that will look nicely on the new key. And now for the second package. Ooh, merch. Steering Committee Podcast. Greetings from Colorado. Both big fans of your YouTube channels and hope to make out your way soon for some ring fun. In the meantime, we figured we'd send you some shirts your way. Keep out the quality car content. You guys are truly some of the only guys worth watching. Ah, thank you, Ryan and Doug. You know, honestly, one of the best parts about being a YouTuber or just a ca casual car guy without trying to prove a point or something is I don't have to spend any money on clothes. That's, well, except for pants then and shoes, but other than that. So uh, all the other money goes on the car parts. Oh, in the meanwhile, look what Pete's doing. You know it's all because of you, George. What? Because you said that silver stickers are not gonna look good on this car and Robert's trying to prove a point that you're wrong. Uh, crack on. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna tell him that he can't make a Hakusuka Skyline look good. <laughs> and then bet him he won't send it to me for 20 grand. Oh, nice, that's a good bet. How's it going, Pete? Good. Anything else that's going on in this? Just nope. just the door stickers? Just these two. Try and piss off George. <laughs> no bonnet sticker, no wind streamer, no, 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 nothing. Okay. Alright, a fast forward and a camera swap, as you can see. Usually I film on my phone, but now we swap for the GoPro because uh, better content incoming, most importantly. And more importantly, George has left his whatever he was doing because he's here so he can join us now for the video. What we're gonna do is talk about the endless pads. Now, I kinda hinted already that this is going to be one of our new partners, something that we are very excited about. Now, since we want to always advocate transparency, those are not freebies. We will not have freebies, well, maybe in the future, hopefully at some point. This is still something that we are paying for. The reason why we are running this and why we're very happy about the partnership is that we always have been saying Endless are the best pads out there on the market. 
But the issue that we were having is that sometimes you have an inexperienced driver, you put a thousand euro pad in the car and he burns them up in two laps yeah. or something. Yeah. And then we're like, great. And then what? So at this point, it makes it for us, this partnership economically feasible to run these paths constantly. Well, maybe at some point it, we're going to have very bad drivers <laughs> in a row and then it also doesn't make sense. But I hope you understand to what we're getting at. So what we are having now, we're going to equip all of our fleet with endless paths, I believe. Almost all the fleet. Almost all the fleet. Yeah. So what we have now is ma uh, 45B for pretty much all the cars. Um, and for the BMW, Endless asked us if we can test some special new compound, I believe. Yeah, yep. so we're going to try these ones in, we're going to test them in the M2 first. So when the M2 has the small kinematics and everything fitted, it will have brand new discs, OEM discs and brand new mm -hmm. Endless pads as well. So yep. we'll have a look and we need to throw some test models into that anyway, because mm -hmm. it hasn't been driven on the track for like a year, <laughs> yeah. maybe more. So, yeah, because yeah. the, the, the car was crashed and it was being rebuilt over the course of last year. And because the traffic was just as it was last year, we did not have a necessity to have the car. So that's why it uh, took so long. But now the car is back, so you can come and book it and drive it. Uh, so that's the car where it's cool as well, because that's going to be a rolling project now. So exactly. rather than everything being done at once, it's going to be a rolling project. So you can sort of drive it in stages of this is done, this is done, this is done, this is done. So yes, it's pretty cool. yes. So the compound we're running on the BMW is, I think it's N39S. Mm -hmm. That's how it's called. Um, are those the BMW pads, what I'm holding? Or is yes, it? they are the BMW pads. Yeah, yeah. They've got the anti-squill shims on as well. So. That's, that's something you very, very much I like. I immediately asked George, like, ooh, that looks fancy. What does it do? So that prevents it from just squeaking. Keeps, yeah, it keeps the noise down. Mm -hmm. It keeps the noise down, which is, you don't mind so much in a track car, but then when you hear some pads squeaking, it's like, whoa, <laughs> you end up with no eardrums left by the end of the lap. Yeah, exactly. So. When you're like uh, pulling uh, the stoplight, traffic light next to someone. And uh, I had it once. I had, I don't remember which car it was. Oh, yeah, it was the, it was the Golf. Uh, I was driving with it and I stopped at the toll post because I was going on a toll road on the highway, pulled it over, car squeaked like hell. And then the guy that the toll uh, guys, uh, like the guy who was selling the tickets, was immediately like, "Oh, you should get different brake pads. Yours are gone." Like, bro, those are just race pads. Yeah, that's what they told me last time at, at my service as well. I'm like, all right, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Cool that. story, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyhow, um, that's it regarding the update. We will be fitting them all. Uh, once we will be fitting them all. Why are we not fitting them all right now? Because it's winter. Some cars are stored elsewhere. Some cars are sitting outside. It makes no sense to put the pads in there now because... Yeah, we leave all the shitty pads in now because yeah. the cold weather, pads don't like sitting with the moisture and then hitting minus 10, mm -hmm. five degrees, minus 10, and then the moisture again, and it, it just ruins yeah. the pads. So yeah. they're all sitting us. well, the ones that are outside are with shitty pads. Yeah, and, these, and by so shitty pads, we're not saying that the other brands we ran previously are no, shit. I mean, not used, used no, pads. No, what, yeah. what we did, this is like the, the regular winter service that we are doing. We are putting uh, stock pads. Either usually stock or using the pads that we've run in the season and that, that are like been, finished. That are finished, just yeah. putting in there, uh, just for parking purposes in the winter. So that's uh, Yeah, that's the cars, it. most of them need new discs anyway. So Polo, uh, I even believe the Cayman needs new discs. What else needs new discs? GTA 6 needs new new rears anyway. Yeah. So all the, all there, the there are going to be lots these. of so they'll all uh, get replaced. But it's easier to do it all like the week before the season exactly. starts. Exactly. So. Going to be lots of exciting uh, tech content coming soon. But that's uh, regarding the pads. I guess we can go down and check out the wheels that we received. Should yeah. we do that? Yeah. You. Nice. I should get some for the golf. Same. Huh? Same. Yeah. <laughs> and the starlet. And the starlet. Or just a six pot caliper kit for the starlet would be better. Right, I see some seat maintenance is being done to the M3 E30. I wonder what's up with that. But we have many, many new sets of new wheels. So what did you get, George? So we've got 19 by 9.5 for the M4 and the M2 for wet. Nice. That's why they're black. Because as you know already, we run OEM wheels on the M2 and the M4 mm -hmm. for wet conditions with PS4S because Michelin haven't released the PS4S yet in a good 18 inch size for mm -hmm. our normal size that we run on track. So we've got no choice, but obviously the OEM wheels look interesting yeah. on the On, on the track, track prepped car. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't look right. It looks, <laughs> in fact, it looks horrible. So yeah. 
Christoph has had these in the pro track. I've had these in the uh, making for a while. Mm -hmm. So these are the first set out. So we'll be the first ones to have them on. Nice. So when they're on, we get the tires hopefully in a couple of weeks or next week. So we'll get them mounted up and I'll get these on the M4 first. Because mm -hmm. then once they're on. And then we can basically we'll continuously run PS4s yep. on it all the time. Always, always run the PS4s in the wet and then obviously we put switch the AL1s in the, in the summer. Mm -hmm. What I want to try to do, realistically, because of the Eiffel conditions, the like the last two months and the first two months of the season is just PS4 weather. Yeah. Because, to be honest, the temperatures don't really go too high in April exactly. anyway. Exactly. So. For air ones. Yeah. So probably end up keeping PS4s in it, but at least we've got these now. Mm -hmm. So these are exactly the same. These are the same color, so same that's size. So basically BMW M2, M2 M4. M4. Yep. Uh, what's there? The box. These are the Cooper wheels. Uh -huh. The RC wider, yeah, the RCN. and a half for the RCN. Yep. Cool. Uh, with wheel studs and nuts. Again, nice. Christoph supplies these as well. Cool. Uh, we did have a set of 18 inch for the M2. Mm -hmm. So basically, the M2 will get more or less the same wheels as the M4. Mm -hmm. So the 18s, um, but they have been sent away. So cool. They'll come back soon. Well, that's I guess pretty change, much it. A slight change of color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So nice. Looking forward to see those on the car to try them out, of course, as well. And uh, just less than three more weeks. Excited for that. Really excited for that. Guess that's pretty much it. What are the plans for the coming days? Um, waiting for parts. Yeah, mm, that's still life. Still waiting for seats. Still waiting for parts from all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bit long. So need to the windows hopefully go back in this next week. Yeah. Uh, there's a few little bits and pieces we can do, but we're again, we're waiting for all the parts. Yeah. Which is annoying. But. As we were filming this, I got a very cool, ah, oh, no, uh, uh, email. I want to show this without showing everything else. Look at that. Yes. What's that? It says Dark Side Developments, engine finished. Oh, nice. So now we need to find out how we're going to get the Golf to UK. Hmm. But that's a story for another time. Uh, first, we're waiting still for the bushings that have been stuck at the customs for the last, I don't know how many weeks. Brace it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Such a great idea. <laughs> I know, right? Fucking and on that note, <laughs> on that note, we're going to finish the video. I hope you guys enjoyed these updates that you are just as excited as we are about the wheels, the brakes, the, the mail time, the key chain for the new car that I'm, uh, I hate to be doing this, but I wish I would just be, would be able to show you the actual car or even some progress on the golf, but life is currently stuck. So I'm just like, that's what I'm doing. So other than that, wish you a great week and looking forward to seeing you in tomorrow's vlog when we will try to do the construction works if the soil is defrosted. And otherwise we'll just have to come up with something else. Maybe we'll show what Pete is doing to the seed. Liquid Molly to the rescue. Oh nice, what are you doing? Um, the, the seed back locking mechanism um, is stuck. Stuck. <laughs> 30 years of crud in this mechanism. Yeah. And like, yeah, time, dust, everything like that. So it doesn't lock in place. Mm. So when you, when you sit on it and push back, it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, that's something for the upcoming video then. See you. Bye. Thanks, George, for the all the info. Good to having you back. So, so I don't have to film broken nice. ice. <laughs> it's nice to be back because there's nothing else to do. <laughs>